when you're working with complex data and smart suite, it is absolutely critical that you have a good way to go and visualize that data. Thankfully, Smart Suite has a lot of options when it comes to charts to make sure that the chart that you're using makes the most sense for the data that you're trying to pull from. For dashboards, though, those options have been more limited up until today. Smart Suite has just added two new chart widgets that could redefine the way that you visualize data in your dashboards. Those two widgets are the scatter plot chart and the bubble chart, both coming to dashboards for the first time today. Let's jump into it. Before we start getting into setup, let's talk about what a scatter plot and bubble chart even are. So a scatter plot is pretty self-explanatory. All of these different plots represent different records based on an X axis that you decide and a Y axis that you decide. So in this example, we have a really simple customer ticket system where users are going to go and leave a customer satisfaction score. We're gonna have a category for them. We can see how long it took in hours for us to respond. And then an urgency level that has a number that is corresponding to it. So for this scatter plot, the X axis is the hours to resolution, while the Y axis is the customer satisfaction or CSAT score. So the higher that a plot is, the more satisfied the customer was, and the further to the right means that it took longer to resolve. So you can see there's definitely a downward trend because all of these are really high with their customer satisfaction score, while these are significantly lower. Now, in a similar vein, we have the bubble chart. So you also, with a bubble chart, have an X and a Y axis. So in this case, this is also the hours to resolution. Uh, and this, instead of the CSAT score, is going to be the urgency rating. How urgent of a ticket was it? Um, except now you can see that the bubbles are now different sizes. So some are really big, while some are really small. The bubble chart allows you to see data in three dimensions, right? So you have the X axis, the Y axis, and then the size. So in this case, the size, the bubble size, is the CSAT score. So the more satisfied a customer was, the bigger the bubble. The less satisfied, the smaller the bubble. So how do you add this into a dashboard? Well, first, you got to go and create a dashboard. So you go here to create a new view. You can do this in any table because dashboards are universal. And then you go ahead and add a dashboard. Once you have your dashboard, you're going to want to add your first widget. But let's just go right ahead and look up the scatter plot. So we can add that directly into our dashboard. So we're going to pick a source table. This is the table where it's going to be pulling information from. In this case, I'm going to select customer tickets. And then it's going to ask me to pick an X axis value and a Y axis value. So just like before, we're going to select the response time for the X axis and the CSAT score for the Y axis. And just like that, you can see a similar scatter plot to what we had before. We can also add a filter where we can filter these different scatter plots by a certain thing. So we can say we only want to see plots where the category is in general inquiry. And then we'll see that we only see these three because those are the only ones that are in that category. Additionally, as you might have noticed before in my last scatter plot, the different plots were color coded different things depending on their category. So if I go and group by category right here, then now it's going to color code each of the different plots based on the category that they're in. So now you can see it's yellow or orange if it's an automation and then red if it's API. You can make this grouping with single selects, dates, or other list type fields. Additionally, you have the option to make a chart total. So let's go add a new total. And we'll say we want to see what the average CSAT was. So right now it's showing 32, but that's because we have a sum. And now if we go to average, we can see that the average CSAT score is a 3.6. Additionally, we can add a dynamic filter which will allow us to dynamically filter through to only see the records that we want to. So we can click dynamic filter and then choose category. And then just like that, we're gonna have this option at the top to filter through all of these different plots based on the category. So if we only wanted to see technical, we'll just see that one plot. But if we wanted to see billing, we will see these three. And finally, last but not least, we have the advanced options. This allows us to go and label our X axis and our Y axis. So you just check this box and then type in the label. And then all we have to do to add this widget is click add widget. And then we're likely going to want to go and expand this to fit our screen. And then voila, just like that, we have our scatter plot all built out. 
So all the same rules apply to the bubble chart. The only difference is that with the bubble chart, you're going to need to pick a bubble size, which will be that third value that you're comparing. So rather than having the CSAT be the y-axis, we're going to have the CSAT be the bubble size. And just like that, we have our nice little bubbles right here. But that is essentially it. I'm super glad that this is finally coming to dashboards. I am already thinking of a lot of cool ways where we can start using this internally at SmartSuite. So if you have any ideas on how you're going to use the scatter and bubble chart inside of your dashboard, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And until next time, keep on enjoying SmartSuite.